I hear him better now. Wow, wow. You yes. ugly as shit. Like this <laughs> wow, wow. Yo, speaking wow. of which. Remember how last week I was, I was grateful for myself and I said when I look in the mirror and I'm handsome or whatever. So my boy Kareem calls me. Shout out to Kareem. And he's like, uh, yo, just like uh, your boy Darian said, you know, you ugly as shit. He's like, but I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> and he was serious shit. I'm like, oh shit, you think I'm ugly? That's fucked up. <laughs> he had to call you to let you know. <laughs> like like, like mid-podcast at the pause it and call me and tell oh, me. Oh shit. That's funny as fuck. That's all right. Uh, hey, it's all, the only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Like your mom used to tell you, no, you pretty baby. <laughs> nah, a real ruthless Yo, judge of that would be that's a little kid. You know how many people moms and told them that they look good and they fucking funny looking as hell? They punched on. It said punched on. Like that's, that's how they that's face what, up. That's what y'all calling it. Yeah, like that that punched baby on. punched on. Yeah. That's oh, shit. <laughs> he 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 was <laughs> fucked up. Bruh, nah, <laughs> punch on, nigga. That's lumps and bruises, cuz. No, that's what I'm saying. Your face look like it's, been, it's fucked up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's the only face your mama could love. <laughs> that is we, tough. You starting with violence today, huh? I guess they the only. One, that's the reason why they the only ones that tell you that you look good. Yeah, but that's an Arkham for them, cause you know that that makes them get better. Like, damn, I got really improved my face because I'm not a sexy looking motherfucker. I won't have the same uh, advantage that sexy looking motherfuckers have. But still, get bitches. Who? Who? Seal. Who the hell is that? He can Kissing sing. Rose. Oh. Okay. He a what? You got a good point. I said he can sing. That's right. Eddie Murphy has a joke about that. He's like, it don't matter what you look like if you can sing. Yeah. Yep. If you can sing. Mm-hmm. If you can sing. If you can sing or make them laugh. Mm-hmm. What they, what they, what's that one saying? If you can make the ass clap, if they can make the ass clap and jiggle. Ah, fuck. I think my boy says this. My boy Nori says this all the time. If you can make, make him, him giggle, giggle and make the yeah. pussy wiggle or something like that. No, it's if you can make him jiggle, you make the ass clap and, j- and jiggle. If you can make him giggle, you can make the ass clap and jiggle. Uh-huh. There you go. There you have it, fellas. There you have it. If you ain't funny, <laughs> shit, talk to the game, brother. Get better at your jokes or you're just going to be shit out of luck. All right. You know what kind of episode you were in for. Might as well just get this shit started. Facts. Let's get it motherfucking oh. popping. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's the triggering word to get it. Welcome back. Yeah. Now I got it. Okay, because I was pausing to let you say <laughs> it, but now. For me to... <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome back to Warm the Crib podcast. I am Ramon. I think I am Darren. And I am Zach. The prodigal son returns. Mm-hmm. Zach's back uh, in the building with the gang. It is an exciting fucking day guys uh, facts for you guys well let's get into what we're grateful for first and then I mean, we'll that's kind of part of what i'm grateful for <laughs> go, <laughs> for go for it <laughs> so we got a uh, a live show coming to y'all soon we definitely want whoever's able to be there be there it will be this thursday because by the time this drops this drops right before it yeah so this so, saturday yeah. oh said, saturday i said yeah. thursday shit <laughs> <laughs> my bad <laughs> But yeah, that's what I'm grateful for, Leo. This fucking opportunity. All right. Try three. Technical difficulties. Um, for those of you who don't know, I recently redid the studio and, and I think the one thing that I <laughs> fucked up, the one cable I <laughs> fucked up is affecting everything else. But that's okay. The show must go on. Anyway, like we were saying, you were grateful for, sir. Oh, I'm grateful for the fact that this Saturday we have a live episode coming to y'all. If y'all want to come out and hang with the gang, we're going to be doing a live pod, family, friends, games, prizes. Like That's what I'm grateful for, that we're actually finally doing something that we wanted to do the moment we started yeah. creating this. Like That was one of the first things we said, like, yo, we want to do it with a crowd, like do it yeah. with some people with us so y'all can get the experience. So it's that's what I'm grateful for, that we're actually about to make this really happen. I will, um, where you, where you done? Yeah, I was, I was sure. I was letting you. Go. I um, I will piggyback and say I'm grateful too because um, and I've said it before. Often when you want to do some stuff and you have an idea, it's great to have an idea. But between you and Jordan, you guys have been so supportive through the shit, 
and like it's not all it doesn't feel like it's all me doing the work yeah like we all got a fucking piece in it Zach included Mm -hmm. and everybody's pulling their own fucking weight so like it's to the point where I'm good where that night during in that moment I'm just potting Mm -hmm. you know what I mean shout out to B Todd running the board for me that uh, Saturday and it's gonna just be a fucking fun event Um, just from a drunken conversation playing drinking games on Mr. Bartender's Friend Lounge mm-hmm. to an idea to come into to fruition. Us actually doing it. Yep. Is dope this as This was fuck. a conversation we had, what, a month ago? Two months ago? Two months ago. Roughly two months ago. And now it's happening. Like, yeah. It's fire. And the first of many. So, mm-hmm. fact. What are you grateful for, sir? I'm grateful to be here. Every day's a blessing to be alive. You wake up, you're like, I'm really alive right now. I can right. keep living the day up. I really yeah. thought this nigga meant like here with us. Yeah, I oh yeah, too. I mean that too. I mean that too. It's always <laughs> like, good to get. That's what I said. It's, like, oh. it's always it good like, to come yeah, back I'm here alive. to the to your stomping grounds and feel like go to. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> it feel like a sorority over here. No, a fraternity. fraternity. We, <laughs> he called yeah. his bitches on the low. <laughs> <laughs> it feel like a fraternity over here. So it's always good to come back to your stomping ground. Nah, that's a fact. It's always mm-hmm. good to have you, my guy. Yes, fact. Oh shit! Um, yeah, so to sum up, this Saturday, October twenty first, October twenty first, seven thirty p.m. Sharp, be there. Yes, sharp. Um, we're not even gonna tell you what the, the itinerary is because yeah, like, oh, not, I don't uh, have to make it for that part. Yeah, but yeah, seven thirty sharp. We ready? To, we ready to go? We ready to cook? Are we ready to cook live? Um, it's gonna be a blessing being amongst our brothers and just doing the thing. Mm-hmm. And there be food, right? Food. Well, it's at Friday, so yeah, yes, you, the venue is TGI Friday. So. Hey, so yeah, you ain't got you can come on empty stomach, but guess what? Blind Definitely face. come thirsty. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be some drinks out there? Like two or three drinks thirsty. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of crowd participation, so it'll be stuff that everybody like. Like I said, it's the village. Everybody's involved. Everybody's sitting in the crib with us, so. So yeah, if you want to show up, we definitely want you there. We definitely. appreciate any and everybody who's been supporting this long. Mm-hmm. We're finally about to do this shit. So we definitely are grateful for y'all. And y'all it's finally- going to be a fucking amazing time, bro. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. It's, I've been anticipating this since we first talked about it. Yeah, I I'm know. Like, Yo, I could not wait. And then we would have a meeting. It was like, okay, this is another yeah, step. Was, and okay. then an opportunity came forward. up. Yep. And then the opportunity- and then you created the fucking uh, what's it? What's the fucking word for it? Like the business plan, the oh the proposal, proposal. yeah, because yeah, we you, had to submit a proposal yeah, to the venue. So we all talked about it, and you put the whole proposal together, and then we got that email back. Like, yeah. oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas got scared for a minute. Like, should we push the date back? Well, let's see. Facts, yeah. But we like, nah. Like, it's our first time. It don't matter. Like, yep. we gonna make it fun, and we gonna we gonna rock. This is one of the opportunities up. where, like, there's gonna be mistakes. There's gonna be shit that don't go right. But that's mm-hmm. an opportunity to learn something. So I'm looking forward to those. Big facts. Um, shit. I, I don't have a sticky up there because I was just running behind the day. Mm, I can't um, see nothing either. That's what, the sticky ain't up there. So no shit. <laughs> I wasn't bullshitting when I said I wasn't sure what we was oh, talking about. On it. So I gotta prepare Get, for later. So, do you want to start with the drama I told you I was gonna tell you about? We had a ride in the car, so we almost did the podcast in the ride in the car. Yeah, we definitely was about that. <laughs> or the visitor at my door. Mm-hmm. The first one. <clears throat> All right. So about two weeks ago, I'm at work, and this guy. I'm helping this guy's wife. They're looking for a printer. A little bit older of a couple, definitely older than me. And the guy's like looking at me and he goes, uh, where are you from? I was like, oh, I'm from New Jersey. He's like, oh, we're from Jersey, blah, 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 blah. He was like, yeah, I used to stay in Jersey City. I was like, what about you? I was like, oh, I grew up in Newark, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, right over the bridge. He was like, uh, who's your father? And you know, that always brings up a sore subject. Well, I don't know, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked up because we laugh, but that's not but funny. That's real, not funny. real shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, yeah, no idea. I was like, nah. He's like, because you look like my cousin. So I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, I don't know. My father and I, we started telling the story. So he shows me a picture of this dude, his cousin. He's like searching on the side. Because I said, you got a picture of him? He's searching. He's swiping. And me and his wife talking about the printer more. He comes back and he goes, look. And at first I was like, nah. And then I look again. Nigga. <laughs> the dude balding in the same spots I'm balding in. His beard, 
is gray in the same spots my beard is gray in. Mm. The only difference is his nose wasn't the shape like me and my sister, my my sons, my nieces, we all got the same, same nose. nose. Yeah. His nose was shaped differently, right? Because mm. different mom. And he didn't have glasses on. I don't know if he was wearing contacts or what, but otherwise, it was like looking at a picture of myself. Yeah. So now I'm like um, talking to the dude and I'm like, hey, uh, like, could you ask them if they know my mom's name? And I can see at first I was like, why isn't the guy helping me out and being participant? But I can see it's his family. It could get messy. Mm-hmm. Right? So um, he's like, yeah, their father used to run around. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah. I was like, maybe this could be my Anton Fisher story. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. like let me know. And he was just kind of keeping it to himself because I'm, I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure he was amazed. And when you, if I wish he would have even showed me the picture, let me have a picture of the dude to show y'all. It's just crazy how much this dude looked like me. Mm. Like if you line him up next to my sons, you would think that was their father. Mm, shit. Uh. Yeah. And so the more I thought about it, I said, damn, if it were the other way around, like how would you bring that shit up, right? Because you could destroy, to potentially destroy marriage. Because mm. you think about back in the day, like, your daddy you know, is, like. <laughs> people would have whole other families around the corner because you know what bills did they have, right? They ain't have cell phone bills. They ain't had no internet bills. They had rent, car insurance, and the, and the 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 mortgage, which was like four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So they could afford second families, except mine couldn't afford a second family. But anyway, <laughs> that's crazy. Ah! <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. The family <laughs> secrets. He said my daddy wasn't getting paid enough. He, said, <laughs> he wasn't getting paid enough to take care of both of us. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is a side look, class. I know I fucked up, but I can only deal with one family right now. That's so <laughs> fucked up. That, that's so fucked up. And so. <laughs> Like, at first, I thought it was just a pass-by thing, but, like, as the days went on, I was thinking about it. Like, yo, that really, yeah, really could be my brother. Oh, shit. Like, he's, yeah, I think look, the guy. That's fucked up. You want to know, but they don't want to give out too much information because it's like, yeah, it they find out my daddy was fucking around on my mom. <laughs> and so I was like, you're like, well, you know where I am if you ever, like, think of any more tidbits. Um, and so I'm probably going to bleep this out, but, like, you like the name? Boy, did the feds. <laughs> and then I went to um, Facebook to see if I could. I couldn't find her on Facebook. Because then if I could find her on Facebook, I could find her husband, probably. Mm-hmm. And then I could start doing my own research. Oh, shit. Wasn't so lucky yet. Yet. <laughs> All you got to do is go to uh, governmentsearch.com. <laughs> well, no. What? You know, sometimes uh, Facebook won't show you shit that's private. But if they'll show you if... um. Like, I might never find your page looking for you, but if I have you in my contact, Facebook has access to your contacts and your phone, so then it's willing to show you more stuff. Uh-huh. Mm. It's crazy out here. Yeah. Shit done got serious. They be trying <laughs> so, to like, I'm like, shit. damn, it, it had me just thinking, like, all the secrets. And, like, I was talking to him, and I was like, yeah, the only people who would know are passed away now. Mm. Like, there's nobody who knows. And I don't remember, my mother never, like, had a lot of friends that I remember. That would have been around when I was born mm-hmm. to even ask. Yo, that's yo. Back in the day, man, motherfuckers that like my granddaddy, he had like 18 kids. And we yeah. always say he had 18 kids that we know about. I believe it's 18. It's a teen. Did he not work full time? Huh? He was a trucker. Oh. oh. Yeah. Niggas, <laughs> oh, that's real shit. He had lot lizards. Yeah. Huh? Uh, lot lizards. You know what that Probably, is? Probably. I don't know. I don't know all of them. I just know he had a lot of fucking kids. And then... Same same. Woman. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's all we know about. There's probably more siblings that Wait, we have out there. Did, did you same woman? Yeah. No. So, we did about... a puppy? <laughs> yeah, <I did>. Eight... <laughs> Bro, 18 kids with the same person is wild. I don't know how they would survive. I mean, it's possible, but it's many... wild. You have to do it each year. Like, once your kid gets at least one, because you remember, you, you can't have sex for damn near fucking... Six like, weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Bro, that means you that woman would have been consistently pregnant for like, like 25 years. Yeah, that's some that's crazy. That's wild. I wonder what the... It's crazy. I was going to ask Alexa, but I'll just Google it later. I was just wondering what is the most amount of ch- children one woman's ever birthed. One Probably 10. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, boom. And you had an answer to that. You said... I uh. You said you think a certain amount. I don't know how much you said. I said like either eight or ten. You said eight or ten. Yeah, the most was, that one woman. Had, mom. Yeah. The most that one woman has ever birthed. Uh-huh. I'm you think say it's sixteen. 
eight or ten, mm-hmm. sixteen, both of you niggas are way off. What is Seven. It? I'm I'm gonna read this whole thing real quick. It says she was born in Russia in the 18th century, and she is listed as the Guinness Book of World Records as giving birth to the most children ever. Her and her husband Fodor Vasilev allegedly parented 69 children. How? 69 out no, of one? How That's how well. cap. A which Valentina gave birth to every single one. Cap. That's cap. So it what? says she gave birth to every single one, and That's... this isn't Wikipedia. Or you know how shit, fucking man. stretched out her <laughs> shit is. <laughs> You know how stretched out that is? That's 69 years of kids, nigga. (laughs) I know, but I'm saying, you know how... That's really one of them hey, you guys, nigga. That shit. Hey, you guys. That's how, like... That's how I'm like, you know how stretched? Because every time... 69... When did she... She would have had to have started. Because less in theory, when you can account for menopause... Here we go getting into women's business. Yeah, we we sorry. Sorry. If you start with... Let's say you 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 you're mature enough to. to... <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? That's her picture. <laughs> Golly. I bet she was tired. Uh. <laughs> Please send me that so I can post it up there. Oh, so she was so funny. Oh, I saw that shit. I was like, oh my god, why they got her face like that? <laughs> he probably kept saying, "Let's have more kids." You keep giving out, you keep having girl babies. Let's have a man baby. You know how they are. Hey, mm. like sometimes, like you know what? I want a son. But wait, wait, wait. What gender was all the kids though? That's a real question. Fourteen. How old? Are you, how old is menopause usually? She happen? gave birth to sixteen pairs of twins. What? Seven sets of strip triplets and four sets of quadruplets. Oh no, she had to be made in the lab. Yeah. That means she gave birth like, without any birth she defects. Gave, she effectively gave birth twenty-seven times. But without any birth defects, like or perfectly fine children. Because you can give birth, but it depends on how long they live. We stumbled upon a crazy topic. This is a weird topic. Because I'm about to challenge that. She shouldn't get the Guinness World Record if you give birth, but how long do they live for? (laughs) 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 Because come on now, that's kind of cheating. That's like saying, I made 560 burgers, but only five is left on his plate. Like, (laughs) where where the other half of the shit go? Come on now. It said, I mean, how long did they live? That's, a, that's not a bad question. <laughs> that's the truth. That's the truth. She so brought she had, she multiple had to have every time. Up. Yeah. Uh-huh. It didn't say any singles. It just said it was most, mostly multiple. And mind you, this was back in the day. So they the their shit wasn't was as good as it is. So I'm like, so you he know, at came least out one of them babies came died. out dead. <laughs> like, like, I was going to say, he came out <gasps> and just died right <laughs> Like, come on. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Because <laughs> I'm like, I want to... It's you got to prove this because she... That's got to be scrubbed because ain't no way all of them is healthy. 100%. Bruh. Well, I wonder if they had any defects. Like, did their yeah. body even have time to heal? Like, that's what I'm saying. Because 69 is crazy. Oh, she said 69. That's the sex term for like... Oh, man. Yeah. And she had 69 babies. That's crazy. Darren is reading intently. Look at his face. Because you got to see. You got to make sure. You got to do the... Uh, just... and, and and see, they just mentioned that. They said they she didn't have the best medical help around because she was a peasant. See? All of her children survived childbirth except for two. There you go. Damn. She lost. She still, nigga. Who she the fuck lost. had 67 two, kids? Two, two down, though. Two down. That's 67. That take that's sixty nine. But they survive. Away. But you said they survive though. They don't. We don't know how good they're living. You're surviving. You could be. But breathing. it's still a live child. The fuck are you talking about? My fault. Whether it has defects or anything. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> you better pray hard to God. We had our kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach, your kid gonna come out fucked up. No, 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 no. You gonna be like, can we return it? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Now you, I can see how Zach working. He walking back in after his wife gave birth, and he walking by the nursery. Who fucked that baby? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then he looked in his name on the little card next to it. I go like, oh, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> you missed that, huh? He said he'll go to the little nursery thing. Switch out the name. <laughs> <laughs> I go. He gonna steal somebody, baby, my nigga. He said. <laughs> I go like. Shh, shh. Said, nah, this ain't my baby, cause. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? He black. I'm like. What that's supposed to mean? 
<laughs> my name ain't on that. That ain't my baby. <laughs> you gotta so start what convincing. You're not gonna sign the birth certificate. You gotta start convincing. Like, yo, this is not my kid. You gotta play the role perfectly. You gonna have a, a spare little, uh, you know, little wrist bracelet they have in his pocket <laughs> and shit. Snap it on, snap that one off. <laughs> oh shit! This shit's is monitored now, though, right? Huh? Like, if you cut them shits, don't they have electronics in them shits now? Oh, oh yeah, that no. shit's mapped out. Like, oh, when they scan it, you baby, that's crazy yeah. though. Yeah, you can't reuse one of them bitches. Like, they are on that shit. I know, but that even is wilder. Cause Yo, they got to- with the with the fucking babies, they don't play with the babies. Like you, they don't give a fuck. You would be in that room in the and they'll let a random nigga walk in there. But the babies, nah, you just had birth and all that. No, they're gonna call you. They're trying to make like, sure their investment is secure. Cause I'm like, if they let that thing go, where are our bread at? That's most of their investment. What? Them babies, man. Them babies? That's their investment. They're the future. Cause they're gonna have to start charging you. I'm like, yeah, you gotta get this on him. We also have a plan where you can get life insurance right now. If you want to sign right now, it's just three monthly payments at <laughs> fifty ninety nine. No we'll cost. Risk it. It's like, no, is it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, if they all start doing that crap, like, hey, to get these shots right now, it's about sixty ninety nine per month. But hey, you can get this annual cost for about two hundred fifty dollars. And we're throwing pictures of Sears, so Sears ain't around no more. Sears, oh shit. <laughs> Sears used to cut build a house. Like with the in the blueprint, I didn't know that until I saw on TikTok. You can buy a house; they'll send you all the material. You will build your own house from out the series catalog. You yeah, choose a house. Yeah, it's the same size of a shed. No, it was a real house. It was a real yeah, house. A shed yeah. size house is a real house. No, it wasn't a no. shed size house. It was a real you house. Think, like you probably thinking like an actual little small ass shed, but no, there's shed houses that are real fucking house. Like got three rooms. Yeah. And, Oh, uh, kitchen and all that, like. Oh no, I wasn't like that. They was like, I gotta show y'all the TikTok. It was one of them shits you could throw in your backyard and have a whole. Because they sent you the wood, the material, everything from Sears catalog. You have to buy it's it. Like a big ass Lego set. Pretty much. That sounds fire. Yeah, and it only cost time. But yeah. the thing is, it's not fire. You, you gotta work that. eight to nine yeah. hours a week and come home and build your house too. I think they will build it for you. I think it only costs like two thousand five hundred three dollars for them to build it. Yeah, but mind you, this was like back in 19-something. 19, 19 yeah. 50, 60 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't before us because it was 2,000-something dollars. I'm like, that's a million dollars back then. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, they charging you an arm and a fucking leg. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Housing has went up. Better start getting a house now for rent going up, houses going up. Everything going up. They got an election coming up. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. shit. This nigga said, I'm sorry, I'm not getting fast. He said, okay, but does that, is all they okay? Is all the kids okay? Because like, <laughs> that's what you got to make sure. Like, you can come out of there, but are they all okay? Yeah, are they all? That I understand what you're saying. I'm like, you can't count that. Like, yeah, a defect or some shit. Boy, just got one on arm. Or some shit. You can't count that. I do feel for people who have like ad- children with like adult disabilities where they'll never yeah. be able to live on their own. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it. One day you're looking forward to coming home and it's just your wife there mm-hmm. and your dog. But imagine coming home every day and you have to take care of your adult child too. Yeah. I mean, some like, people get used to it. No, but like when you old as shit, like. Well, then you get a caregiver from. Sure? We both need a fucking caregiver. Yeah, but at some <laughs> point. Or <laughs> well, they just pass it on to them. I think that's usually some of them. They just get their own caregiver after a certain point in time. But then you but, always got to have benefit. You always got to get paid by uh, the government. I think, right? Yeah. But uh, I feel like it's also a different love for your offspring, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that may like be tiresome and all of that, but you're gonna do everything for what you bought, brought into this world, regardless. Because what if it happened later on in life? Yeah. He always, he's a normal baby and then something yeah, happened. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. But either way, it's got to be challenging. Like, nah, yeah, yeah I, you got to be ready for them bills. You probably be like, damn, 2500 for this bed, 38000 nah, for this. I just hope that motherfucker get a check. That's what I hope. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's a discrimination today, if, like, if it's black or white. <laughs> but if imagine- they give you how much you get in your check. Like, if you have a dis- disabled baby, I never look into the details. Like, is it kind of like, eh, he's black. He don't get that much. He's a slight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like- something in there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think it's like that with, like, everything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Like, in a way. They be like, oh, he's Some kinda- places will, like, won't tolerate that shit. But some places, Bro, they like that definitely, yeah. on the low, they'll be like, yeah, we're going to start you off at this, but- It ain't even helping you at yeah, all. Yeah, the other nigga who do the same thing you do gets double, but it's You ever right. see them shits when they show you the side and scale? Like, if you wanted to get food stamps or some kind of government assistance, it'd be like- You got to be fucked up. You got to have, like, six kids and and, and make $15,000 no, a year. And no nigga in the crib. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, 15000 with a family of five is considered poverty. Bro. Yeah. 
Nigga, we but are. I'm just saying. I have shit, a wife. Forty thousand feel like poverty sometimes. It's me, my wife, my son, and my daughter, and we cannot get food stamps. Yeah, because you we make too so much. Called make too. You money. make more than twenty grand. Yeah. But combined, where do I make too much fall in? Because um, motherfucker, I'm still struggling. <laughs> like, like <laughs> shit's still hard. I don't know what you talk about. Like. Um, even if I had 200 in food stamps, I'd be set because that's 200 in food in a month that I don't got to worry about. She would have to quit and you would have to go part-time somewhere at and like I'd $10 have to an not hour. not really live in the house. I have to lie and say- Act like you're divorced, yeah. 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 But you can't lie. Well, you no, if you're a family, trip. you still have nah, to- Nah, they don't give a fuck about that. Really? Nah, because they're going to do a home check. They're probably going to check nigga, and see. They don't want no nigga in the crib. They want you and your kid. They want a woman and her kid. Trying to break down the family. You that's understand? when they're in the really, 70s during the, and the 80s during the crack everything. era. Yep. That's when you'll get everything. You fuck around, have fucking, you uh, be a woman and like four kids and she get like fucking $1,000 or $800 of food stamps. But a man in there? Shit, 500 But a man? 500 A man in there? Oh, and if you in there, you got to go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we said, applied for food stamps that got $16. They said, hold on. I was like, Damn. They said, hold on, you got a man in there? And a, and a uh, gallon of milk. Exactly. Like, maybe it's a maid, maybe two eggs. Shit, I went grocery that shopping and I noticed it. I don't got food stamps. That's why I'm glad, motherfucking, I didn't end up with another job that paid more because, nigga, I'd have been fucked up. Like, fucked up, fucked up. You had to go to Don General and start just eating off of that shit. Yeah, like, that's real shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, before I've shopped that Dollar General. Yeah. I mean, not like, wrong with Dollar General, don't get like, me wrong. Grocery shop that Dollar General. Yeah. Like, you do what you gotta fucking yeah, do. Yeah, you do what you gotta fucking do, but it's not I like shouldn't that. have to do that. You I got should... a whole fucking job. Yeah, <laughs> like, and then you can't exactly. get everything fresh either there. It's all processed. Yeah. Like, I should be able to fucking work and live. Like, I shouldn't have to work and still have to struggle on my other shit. Or be like, I'm gonna take a second job. But yeah. Then now you're missing time with your family. Like so I've been contemplating that shit. Like so, you're still absent from the family because you have to work a second job. And like, you know me, and, I already got two jobs, man. Yeah, and I'm I make, like I make good money, but I'm like, I might want to get a second job just to get some more money. Like, but then yeah. you got to think about it. they're gonna take more tax out there. Yeah, but <laughs> still, like I'm pretty sure even whatever they take out of the taxes from that, I will still be good for the simple yeah. fact that this whatever comes from this job, the second job. It's play money. It's all gravy. Yeah. That's just what I want to do. Whatever we want to do, that's the money for that. But then again, when you're gonna have time because you're always working a second job to make the play it money. Fucking, it, it's not gonna happen. It Been don't work unless you get. Like, it, it's, <laughs> well, <laughs> done that. But like they said, unless you start to get your own tray, learn how to do graphic design videos. They say it all like it's easy, right? Or learn how to sell crack. But <laughs> it's like now nah. one. What big you say? This is the 10 crack command. <laughs> command. Listen to the hour if you want to learn how to sell crack. But nah, uh, I think it's a little more involved than that, sir. <laughs> yeah. just I'm trying to give him, he's giving him a little. That's the cliff notes. He's giving yeah, him a graze yeah. over it. It's a little more into it. Yeah, it's more in depth than that. Shit. Yeah, it's more detail. You got well, a lot I, don't of know. I couldn't look over my shoulder. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what I say to people all the time. I think I'm intelligent like, enough to come up with some crazy schemes, but I don't want to have to look over my shoulder. The rest yeah, of my life. hey, shit's wrong, and crack makes a lot of money, but. I'm not looking over my shoulder. I don't want to. And then I think I'd rather work this bum ass nine to five, get this regular ass check, and be cool rather than looking over your shoulder every day. All the, every day, looking like, in your rear view mirror I'm just because you, yep, you know if you if you do that, that shit's on you nine times out of ten. Mm-hmm. Unless you like doing some shit with your family, then you might not have it. But if you just or until you re- work up to a point where you can have your own soldiers, and yeah, it's then do it. But, but then that's the even more. Part, that's even more to looking over your shoulders. Because then Somebody one person, what, what if they get hit up and then yeah. they be like, "Hey, he I gave got this it to me." Such and such, like yeah. nah, now nah, you're being wiretapped, and then you're looking like the dudes off. Yeah. Of, uh, they got the FBI sitting yeah. at your house, like one of your soldiers come up to you. Yeah, man, what about them pounds you were supposed to give me to sell? Like, bro, like, and he's like, like, bro, what about that crack like, you said you had on you? start standing like this. He's like, yeah, but uh, don't you got, <laughs> he don't said, you got that cocaine that we were supposed to sell? You you, you move all the way around here, huh? Then you like, got to start talking like, I don't know what you're talking about. What weight is even in my pocket? Like, like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> you, you get up on that nigga chest like, 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do that. Like then, then he gonna be like, "Is your name Denzel such and such?" Yada yeah, yada. Give you a government. Andrew <laughs> <laughs> like, Puka who live at 2218. Bro, the black oh, Impala. Yeah. <laughs> you always come out with the same pajamas in the morning. Go take out your trash, right? You, you got that. You got that black Tahoe with the tin on it. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. He was like, "Bro, What's your license plate three two like six like, five eight. Yeah. <laughs> and he start looking at him like. <clears throat> Bro, you good? You off something? He's like, nah, you bro. You gotta fight the urge to just pop him in the head because yeah. you already know he's snitching. <laughs> you know, yeah, he know he's snitching. And now you don't know if this motherfucker, like, if they are down the block. And he's or if they in your time. crib. You got time, yeah. yeah. So you can't fucking even do what you want to do. You just got to play it off, act like you don't know nothing, and then catch his ass slipping later. Be mad <laughs> Why am I telling y'all what to do? <laughs> Learn it all off of TV, HBO, The Wire. <laughs> That's a fact. There you go. The Wire taught a lot of niggas shit. <laughs> Look Whoa. at Omar. He learned it the best. Oh, yeah. But they had Omar on some other crazy. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. I didn't I said crazy. I, he always had a shotgun in this. Yo, what do you think it is? So earlier today, somebody knocked on the door, not rang the doorbell. And I thought maybe it was a package. You or rang the doorbell? Somebody else. Oh, you said <laughs> hey. not rang the doorbell. No, they didn't ring the doorbell. Yeah. They knocked on the door. So I go to the door. And I see a, a, a white woman. I was like, oh shit, God done sent me a bonus white woman. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Milk of magnesia. <laughs> we need Dr. Umar up in here. And then, <laughs> and then I, I beg your pardon. You didn't lost your composure. <laughs> and then I jumped uh. because it was a little boy with her. And he handed me this, this, this postcard. And she was like, I'm in the neighborhood just telling people about my church. And it wasn't Jehovah's Witness. It was Christian church. And we wanted to invite you to the church. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. You know, nice. Still, like, spooked because this little kid scared said, the shit out of me. <laughs> Which he wasn't a little white kid either, so I'm not sure of the relationship there. I don't know if she kidnapped oh, this kid to help fly. Man. She adopted him. She, she, nah, he looked like Hispanic, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's her set husband. you up. You would have went to church and got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> so, he went in a real church. He go she up there. Like, she's like... <laughs> Do you do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? I was like, I do. Yeah. She's like, Are you saved? I was like, they should, she Yes, I like am. That. Yeah, no. it was kind of aggressive. I felt. Um, see, yeah, I, I don't I, like I, those I, people. See, I'd I'd have flipped the switch on her ass. I'd have been like, No, I'm not saved. Satan is my. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd have got on her ass. Like, hold on, she bitch. Probably, I just told just you to see you what she was saying. Yeah, I just told you I believe in all that. And you gonna ask me am I saved? And she would have pulled out some. First of all, holy <laughs> Fuck you talking Take about Take it a mile further. Start crawling like you on your back for a second. She's going to start. She's going to like this with the little kid. Get the hell away from my kid. <laughs> I even helped out. She was going to put a knock on the next door. I was like, nobody lives there. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't See, know. I'm not trying to be funny. I didn't know other religions went door to door. Yeah, somebody came like uh, last week. Somebody came to my crib. It was. Like I said, y'all live in a nice area. First areas. of all, random ass doorbell. First of all, nobody when motherfuckers come to our house, they know. Let us know you fucking coming. Like, right. So, random ass doorbell, and me and my wife like, she like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> like, I go look out the door. I'm, I see somebody standing there, but I can't really tell who it is. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I open the door. It's these two white girls. Okay. And like off the shiny. First of all, I felt like it's a setup. Why is two white girls at a black <laughs> nigga door? That's weird as shit. <laughs> But they was trying to invite us to church. Oh shit! Did you go? No, I'm not fucking going to y'all. He, oh, 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 yeah. That's all. You I hate that church. <laughs> and it'd be boring and be like, all right, you made it shit down. And like, shit. it's not like the black church would be like. At least you yeah, get some fun black, in it. The black church be fucking inspirational and all that. They church be fucking depressing as hell. They be quiet, be like, oh. <laughs> oh. You thought you, were, you thought you was on a Halo episode. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Halo. That's a fact. <laughs> You'd have definitely thought you was on Halo. Uh-uh. And then it'd be cold as hell. And don't be nothing out there. And the food be dry. Don't get me started. Do you mm-hmm. think people should do that, though? What? what? Do you think it's like... Like, I guess in biblical times, didn't they travel and try and spread the word of... Uh, I think now, just email that shit. Do some mass email. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Do, get a, do mass emailing, and you'll be safe, because you're going to knock on the door. Email. Bitch, they don't got your email, bro. No, but, but you can just do that with mass email. You mass know? email. Like, spam, you know how to get... Like, Send it to spot, random shit. Like, add emails, you know how to just hit... Spam for Jesus. They go. <laughs> <laughs> spam for Jesus Christ. Uh-uh. Like, like do yeah. that because going knocking door door is unsafe, and then you don't know where somebody is. Like you said, little boy, you didn't see him. Somebody be crazy. That's true. 
Like, well, I got what, Negro, whatever right? mind is open to do, I don't believe in white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? You don't know what you're gonna expect. Yeah, and you're gonna be door so to I door. wish I was on the phone with one of y'all that have written, fed me these oh, lines. Nigga, yeah. That would have been funny. Yeah. Be like, come on in, welcome to my delayer. <laughs> <laughs> my demonic lair. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door. When you open the door, you gotta say election. There's an intruder, and then the let the bodies hit them. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you said the lights setting. <laughs> Flicking red uh, and all that's what they do. I just couldn't get it to work. The dad was trying to show it to him. Oh, <laughs> they're like, Oh my god, he's the he possessed. That's crazy. They're gonna come back in a car, a fib. Take her fucking car back. She go, <laughs> No, she ain't gonna touch that car. She's gonna be like, That shit possessed too. She gonna just like, You can keep it. Oh, but do you think shit. people should do that? You want to go door to door? I yeah. say no. I feel like I'm you safe. can. I feel like you always can express how you feel and what it does for you mm-hmm. and what God and all that does for you, but you can't press it on anybody. Motherfuckers got to learn it on their own. Like, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I've never told anybody this, but I didn't like, I've always believed in God, but I didn't truly believe until a couple years ago. Okay. Like, because one, I've never seen anything, never felt, never dealt with anything, so I didn't really, but... When I started looking for that connection, I actually started feeling shit and started. Oh shit! So that's what made me be like, all right, he's definitely real. He got my back, but he's not everything. I have to do some work too. Right. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of the problem. Motherfuckers think God's just gonna do it. Like, no, you got to do some work. He yeah. got to see you doing work for you to really get what the fuck totally you want out of it. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't just sit there, sit on your ass every single day, and God's just gonna. Here you go. Everything's oh good. wow. No they million don't. dollars. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. He see you working at it. He gonna do some shit for you. But like, and that's that's the where people get shit misconstrued and then ties. I'm sorry. Ties. Well, that's I'm the to, well. Technically, oh, where is this episode going? <laughs> well, we can't get too deep in it. But technically, a church is a nonprofit, so you don't get taxed. So if you, you create still, up your own like, mysterious why, religion, why do I have to pay? For well, God to love me. Well, that's, I guess that's pretty much the tax. Well, where they get their money from? Yeah. If it's a nonprofit, you should I put be it doing, into. I put it into should be perspective. doing things for the community and having people invest. in Oh, they do. I think yeah. they still the, do. The, the, the church members and no, other people too. Is. They do nonprofit food so banks. Why, why pastor got a Rolls Royce? Oh, I'm not saying every pastor you should. Try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I saw. That's... And they always say <laughs> you have to give it of your heart. Yeah, you and don't... you can't. Because you did the right thing, gave it to your heart, you still will receive your blessing for giving. But what if, regardless what if, of what it, how it was used? What if in your heart you can't give shit? Then you can't give. Then, you, but like, they be there be some that be like, hold they on, go, they go, they, they go say you haven't you been office, paying. Be like, yeah, you haven't been paying. Your yeah, guys. yeah. Like, yeah see, I don't fuck. think that I don't think people should be guilted into. It. Like, well, I don't no. think people. I, I think yeah, like, it's you sometimes they be like, hard as shit, like. Nigga, I'm busting my ass out here. But you've been here five years. You ain't paid us a dime. Yeah, get the hell yeah, out. They're like, get the hell out of my I've even been in a, in, a, in a service where they're pressuring you and the plates coming like, don't put anything that jingle, only fold. Who what? said that? I ain't the never. Pastor oh, said, nah, that pastor money hungry. Jingle. It fold. Nah, fuck that. That shit. pastor money hungry because I ain't never heard that. Don't put anything See, don't that jingle. Don't put anything that jingle. See, <laughs> I'm going to purposely vulgar. put some shit in <laughs> Jingle, <laughs> you, sure? you want me to drop my nuts? In That's what I was to say. I'm gonna say that. I said, "Oh, you don't want any jingle?" Oh, since you don't want any jingle, <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, get your nuts out the damn time." <laughs> We're sorry, uh, Warm the Crib will not be performing tonight because they got canceled. <laughs> Nah, uh-uh, but that's kind of petty. Don't put anything in that jingle. Yeah, I that's, distinctly remember that. I, I would have said, yeah, he money could, hungry. Yeah. I was a child, and I'm like, that don't. Because like, if you have a dollar in coins, like a dollar yeah, in coins, yeah. you like, put it in a little what tiny. What all I got? Like I only give what, like literally, in in everything, I only give what I can give. Yeah. Well, what they more say? Than that, I'm gonna fuck myself up in a way. Yeah. But what they say when you tip? Don't tip more than what you can give God. That's what some people do. If like, uh, if like, if you, you if God, God, if God, you give God fifty percent. So you, you telling me <laughs> the amount that I tip at a restaurant depends on if I give God that same amount or more? <laughs> That's what they usually say. I'm like, I, I could be wrong. If like you say God gives fifteen percent, if you give, if you, <laughs> if you give, if you, you know, but I'm saying if you give more than fifteen percent, you give uh-huh. more than God. If you get more than fifteen percent, so like, say if you tip God fifteen percent, you don't get more than fifteen percent usually. Wait, ties up to fifteen percent now. Well, that's it. No, that's ten. I think it's ten or fifteen percent. Ten percent income. Yeah, 
You don't get but more than that. If but at a waiter, you're giving them a percentage of what, like the fifteen percent is a percent of what your total bill is. Oh yeah. My bill at this church is my time. I was about to say, how could you put a how could you put a price on the blessing you receive? Exactly. Like, eh, it depends. The, the blessing is priceless, so you gonna pay a billion dollars? I don't no, got just like ten percent of your like, income. Ten percent of yet. Why do why should I give the church ten percent of my income? It says it in the Bible. I can't tell you where, but it does say it. Why why should I listen to this thing that was written by man? You have to have faith that God inspired a man to write it. But why in each version of the Bible they are Well, that's because they whitewash it. Well, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn. Luckily, cut this episode that out. come out two days before they don't have time to cancel it. Oh, yeah. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Because I say that's usually what they do a lot of stuff, like with history. They wash it before they send it to the mass public. So you got to get it something like this. Because yeah. in the Bible, there's a lot of stuff. Like if you read the Old Testament, there's some words. I'm like, I try to do that. I was like, yeah, these some big ass words. I can't read this. I'm going to start saying he. The NIR version. Yeah, it's like he, nigh, they. I'm like, yeah, this is some shit I ain't going to be able to see. <laughs> nah, if you ever trying to read the Bible, NIR version. They put it into our terms now. Oh, no, yeah, I read that, but I'm sorry, I was trying but to read the old one. To his one. point, though, when you take a text that was translated from one language to another language to another language, like, that shit at some point, it gets misconstrued. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, like somebody whispering in one ear. You remember that circle thing you did That's at school? Fact. That's why I say, like, nigga. Each person's version of the Bible makes it seem like they was like that nigga's right hand. Like, no, y'all all had a y'all all had a position to play in this situation, mm. but y'all all wasn't what y'all say y'all were. It's it's almost different in every single version of the Bible. They start boosting it up a little more. Like, yo, he really yeah. called me like I was that man right there. Yeah, you know? he like, like, what's up? Yeah, that, he's like, all right. that, that I don't fucking believe. But and I then they look believe at- like. What what happened in the Bible did transpire. It did happen because certain stories do match up in each person's version. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's each person's version. Like, it's not Jesus's version. That's the thing we'll never have. But mm. Yeah, they say, hold up. That's our biggest op. Yeah, Get them out. I about that. It's just like any the three of us could all experience the same thing, but yeah. we're all going to tell the story differently. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's that game they like, teach you in school. Fucking uh, Jacob's. We all know Jacob, and we basically seen what he did to get to where he are, and we all talk about it. It's going to come out three different ways, mm. but it's still not his story. It's everybody telling his story. Yeah. Like the mass. And if I tell your story, I can add what the fuck I want. I was that nigga. Yeah, yeah. fucking. I can Jake, say he Jacob gave me the jewels. Used to call on me when he needed to uh, figure out how to move his money around. Like, yeah, it, it I was his. I was the number one guy when he needed assets. You know, I had a long yeah. couple of brand. Like, you know, what yeah. You know? So, but like interesting conversation. This shit did go left. We went way left. I don't even know where it was at. But like I said, I ain't, I didn't want to go too deep in that. So you want to switch to a would you rather? Yeah. Would you Please rather? tell me it's still up on my screen. I'm be oh I did Google. Would Hold you on. rather what? Like two seconds. We do would you rathers now. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you're keeping up on the podcast, Zach. I'm gonna try right, this. Right, one. I try. I try this one. <laughs> would you? Zach, what episode you on? What was the last one I filmed? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for a full year or take three days, three years off the end of your life? Same day over, what? over and over again. Yeah. Would you rather <laughs> would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for a year? So 365 days, you're gonna live that same day. Or would you rather be take three years off at the end of your life? So let's just say you're you're fucking dying at 79. I know. I understand the question. Like, I, I'm processing <laughs> it. Fuck. I understand. I know what I my, my answer is. You saying live the same day? Because I can change in every moment in that same day. It's just the same day. Yeah. It could be a sunny day, but you can change whatever happens that same day. And at day. work, sometimes I feel like I'm living the same day. Yeah. Over and over but again. in reality, if you're living the same day, you're, you're still be losing doing a year. This, yeah. You're losing a year and you're, you're doing the same. But it's better than losing three years. Like well, it's like ground, Groundhog Day, especially then, when you don't but know then when again, you time's up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Leap you might only have three shit. years left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah. Because if you lose three years of your life, say if you got one more thing, one thing you want to do in them three years. But then again, they get, um, if you die, die in that late, like 80s, 90s. Like, like what if it's 25? You're probably ready to go. 
So if it's twenty five, we don't know. <laughs> you take them, you take them three years. Like you probably might be happy about like, them three years. Like oh shit, yeah, I'll take these three years. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. But I think if you if you're young, because a lot of people ain't even making it to that age. I say I would pick same day, the same day. As much as that would drive me year. crazy. Because the note, your time is not promised. And so there's not deja vu. to take three days off of what you don't know. That's like, can I take $3 out of your check, but you don't know what you're getting paid? Mm. And let's say you're only getting paid $3. Huh. Mm. You get me? Yeah, I'm going to take the, uh, yeah, the yeah. painful Groundhog's Day for a year. Mm-hmm. And then at that same day, what if it's a sunny day, I just change up what I do that same day. You ever see the movie Groundhog's Day? I think so. That was one of my favorite movies. I've heard of that. It's what, it's what's his one. name in there? Uh, Adam Bill Murray. Sam- oh, Jim Martin? I thought it was Adam mm-hmm. I thought it was Adam Sandler. Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray? Groundhog Day? Maybe I'll think about Waterboy. Yeah, two totally different movies. <laughs> Not even made in the same era. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a good movie. It's about a guy who has to learn a lesson. Until he does, he has to live. He lives, ends up living the same What about the Eddie Murphy movie? Where the tree, he can't talk, and the leaves fall off. Uh, after Beverly Hills Cop, I stopped watching Eddie Murphy movies. Yeah. What about Haunted Mansion? The Haunted Mansion? His original. Damn. I was thinking the Haunted House. I'm tripping. Nah, the Haunted Mansion's from Disney. I remember that's what they used to play in summer camp all the time. Like, all right, throw it on this movie. <laughs> Scary Haunted Mansion. I remember that shit. I was like, yeah. You got another? Would you rather? Or are we. Yeah, I got another one. We, we can't forget. Time. We forgot two weeks in a row to do a final thought. Oh, yeah. Mm. Would you... Uh, let's, let's try this. Would you rather never age physically or never age mentally? Never age physically. Physically? Yeah, because mentally you always... So you have... Because if you don't... How old are you? I'm only 23. You're 23. So you will have a 23-year-old mind for the rest of your life. No, I said never age physically. Oh. Yeah, that's an easy one. That's what I'm saying. Cause I my say mind I, has to grow. Yeah, my mind, you that have to learn stupid. every day. I, after I said it, I was, I, after y'all fucking pointed it out, I'm like, that's <laughs> dumb as shit. <laughs> but again, I think it could be a perspective thing. Like, if yeah. you, like you know when you're a kid, you want to grow up so bad, and then when you're but, growing up, you wish you could be a kid again? It, but that's also, like, yeah, but that also might have ties to uh, your creativeness. Because mm-hmm. you know they say you're more creative and more inspired when you're younger than when you get older. But then you're also more prone to like being gullible. Fuck ups. Yeah, yeah. Because like somebody can be like, "Hey, man, I got a thousand dollar check right here." Yeah, just sign right here. You sign there. Yeah, that's a fraud check, buddy. You can't cash this shit in. Yeah, nigga, I don't, I, don't like, I don't know if I agree with that. But what? You're you're more creative when you're younger than when you're older. It depends. Some people are late. Your imagination, my fault. Well, I think more of your if, imagination. I think life can stifle that. I mm-hmm. definitely think there's a period I what went through. Is- where I stop being creative. Motherfucker's not, imagination dies out after a while. But I but think you gotta find it. I think it's just as strong, if not stronger, at my age now than it was at some point when I was younger. Your what? creativity. Your creativity. Also fun. That's because you know more of what you want to be creative in. I just have ideas and I think I used to block them for whatever the reason, right? Like maybe this is an adult thing. Like they tell kids at a certain point, they tell you to draw, you know, whatever. And then at a certain point they say, well, that's childish to draw in color, but it's not, it's actually good for the brain. And so you start to believe that things are childish. So maybe you keep it to yourself. Maybe you color in private because you don't want anybody to know, but you should just do things that are good for your brain. But I've all been career, whether it be a creative idea, musically, artistically video, or even a, a, a way to get out of a situation. Yeah. Right. I don't think I meant to say creative. I think I meant to say imagination. You do have a higher imagination when you're younger. I don't think so. I, 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 I think my shit is just as flowy. As it, I think it was a period where it was stagnant. you have a weird-ass mind, nigga. I do, but I think I'm embracing <laughs> that mind. I think for a I'm long period, thinking. I thought I had to let go of that mind to grow up, and I think I've learned to embrace my thought process. You, you have a lot of uh, hypotheticals. I'm not yeah. a hypothetical ass nigga. Like <laughs> I'm a straightforward. Like this is what it is. That's what it is. I got too many. But questions. you like, but if this happens, how would you feel about this other situation? Like nigga, I, I, I'm not good at that shit. Yeah, I don't know why my brain. It takes a while to get used to being my friend or you are live with me because I'll just be randomly asking you this question. Let's say your wife came out right out here right now and on camera at the live slapped you. What would you do? Right? Like, see that just came into my head. What I'm I do? A- <laughs> No. I'm gonna be Chris Rock. Said my wife just came up here and smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> like that's all I'm gonna say. That's that's it. <laughs> that's crazy. Could there any be anything that she would publicly embarrass you like that? 
Like anything that you nah. would just say during the show? If or I'm saying some shit, she will. You gonna feel a stare through the crowd? Uh huh. Oh yeah. I feel that feel that stare, or she'll want to come up and say some shit. But she's not. She's not one of them people that's. And that's another reason why I love her. She's not gonna just let me slide with some shit. Like, right. Like if some. Shit I don't think she would let down. you slide, but would she would let you finish the show and then let, and then tell you about it later? Or oh she, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. She gonna let it finish and let and tell me about it later. You gonna hear your full government? Blah 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 blah. Get over here right now. You might excuse me, fellas. Y'all keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely Whoa. gonna walk smooth the fuck away. Is it? I about to say thing over. Oh shit! I was I like, whoa. Be careful. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, um, final, final thought. thought. Oh, it was only two questions. Damn. Yeah, usually we yeah, go longer. We've been going long. Yeah. Pause. We've been ah. long and strong. Pause. Final thought. My final thought is: be true to yourself. Love everybody in your corner. Make sure you ride for your gang, and come to the live pod October twenty yeah. first. Homies over hoes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Homies over, homies over. Yo, I gotta be honest. I think I'm a little distracted. I right now I'm living too much in the future. A, I'm distracted because shit didn't work technically right today. Oh yeah. Mm. Hey, shit happens. Yeah, we're normal. But B, I'm distracted because I'm like I'm ready to do the thing and not trying to fast forward through life. But we work so hard to get to this point. I just can't wait to do this. Yeah, I can't fucking wait, bro. That's how it is. I can't freaking wait. I gotta practice that. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if it. Uh, I guess. Nah, I guess he said. He said because uh, well, this is other words. This yeah, is, but yeah. I guess the f word would be considered vulgar. Yeah, but like shit and damn aren't vulgar. Yeah. Hey, we'll sugar honey sweet iced tea. We'll figure it out. If the manager come over and be like, hey guys, could you uh <laughs> then we know. Then we know. Hey you guys, I'm gonna need you to tone it down just a tad. Yep. Great. Yep, that soft ass voice, they <laughs> great. Hey, that great. Yeah, that tone when they be like, "Hey, uh, it's time for you to check out." I'm gonna have to look at the timer, be like, "Yeah, we almost done anyway." Yeah, well, fuck that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, that's real shit though. And that's the end of the show. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a good night. Final thoughts, sir. Final thoughts is don't stay be a fuck nigga. Yeah, don't be that. Stay loyal, black woman, my queens. Oh shit. Stay true to yourself. Yeah. You know? My man's got himself himself a girl. He's feeling himself. He he, he, he loving the I shit out of it. I am off the market. I am now licensed. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a fun thing to do a live matchmaker thing. That was one of the original things we talked about. Oh, remember? Oh yeah. But I made my you own matchmaker. Do a matchmaker for uh, profit. Profit. Mm. We can do that. I don't know when you're gonna see this profit, but <laughs> I think we just got. A, <laughs> I hope got you're an idea. <laughs> <laughs> When Be we prepared. tell you to come up, we. <laughs> Mm. That's not a bad idea. Somebody write that down. Uh, listen and watch, <laughs> watch and listen. Uh, interesting topics. I don't even know how we got there, yeah, but uh, part of the conversation. No, nope. we, we talked about religion and other stuff too. Yeah, all the stuff we normally don't talk about. Yep, or ain't that some shit? Right? I guess we had to get out of our system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely can't, we can't talk do about it next week. week. Oh, <laughs> oh, do it oh next I'm week, sorry. Man. We can't do it in three days. Two days. Two days. Three days. Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, two days. two days. We can't do it in two days. Make sure y'all pop out. Pop Make sure y'all follow us on everything at Warner Crib, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Threads. On TikTok, we are Warner Crib Podcast. Go to that YouTube. If you are there already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know anytime we drop anything. Yes, sir. We appreciate y'all. Get we love you y'all. Some merch. W- get the merch. W- ain't got one yet, but merch.com. WTCmerch.com. Make and sure you get some of the merch. Look closer. Guys, there's going to be a special line in celebration of the live episode, but for a limited time. So make sure you put it up there again. Go to WTC Merch. Check that shit out. Big facts. Big facts. Until next week. Peace. Peace.